Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see a round robin router in the mule shop. So basically in the round robin router you can have a two or more routes but your request will route to a one route. It will not going to a remaining route. So let's consider for example if, if you have a two routes okay in in your round robin router the first request will always go to the first route and the second request will always go to the second route then the third request will again go to the first round route and the fourth request is again go to the second route so let let me explain this through the one of the example uh, so let i will start with demonstration part so let me do one thing i will create a new mule project i can give that project name is a round robin router demo I will say finish okay as you have like I will just drag and drop a listener shape okay so let me Okay, so let me configure my listener, HTTP listener. So I will click on this plus sign. I will just change the port to 8084. You can keep 8081 also because my 8081 port is busy somewhere. Okay, and I will give a path slash test. Okay, so what I will do, let me show example. I have this message. I have this JSON message. Okay, so what I will do, I will split this message. Okay, and like you know, uh, the route, like uh, the first split message will go to route one, the second me splitted message will go to route two, and the third splitted message will go to route one again. So if the second time you are uh, sending the request, then you know your last request has gone to route one, then your this request will go to route two, this splitted message will go to route one again. This is go to route. Uh, yeah, route two. Okay. Now again, if you are sending third request, then your this will again go to you know uh, your route one, route two, and then route one again. So that is how it will happen. So for splitting this uh, JSON message, we will use the for each. Uh, there is a component available that is for each which can be used to split this message. So simply call this uh, for each component, and like we don't have to do the any configuration uh, because it's it's a straightforward you know array. So for it will automatically take care of this, you know, uh, JSON array. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Just simply drag and drop that split uh, for each message. Then the second thing I will call round robin. Okay, under the for each, let me drag and drop under for each. Now I will use tool logger component to show you like your message, you know, uh, the message is getting splitted from this for each. Then you know first message is going to route one splitted message. Then second will go to route two, and this uh, this is all. So basically, route you know this uh, choice router keep the track of uh, of all your messages like where the last uh, you know where, uh, where the last message has been gone uh, either to route one or route two. So it keep the track in the memory. So it automatically take care of that thing. So let me drag and drop the logger the first logger. Now if you try to second logger. You want to see us uh, whenever you see the black line just drop that okay now what I will do I will try to print this uh, message so in this what I will say I will say message from route 1 And simply I will print the payload okay I will copy this and I will just paste in second payload just I will change it to two okay so like uh, you know where where you can use this so whenever like you know uh, like you don't want to put the load on this particular flow or particular thread 
so you can you know uh, use this kind of scenario where you know uh, you are uh, like you are splitting the message and sending to the first route second message you sending to the second route that is how you know like uh, you are balancing your load balancing your traffic between the multiple routes okay so that is how uh, that is where you can make use of a round robin router okay so for each will uh, split the message and the uh, when so i can see like uh, whenever it is split the message so it contain the three messages so it will get split into three messages so in the, whenever i send the first request so round robin you no know, send the first splitted message to logger uh, route one and this is my route to the second splitted message will go to route two and the third splitted message again go to you know uh, route one so now whenever the, whenever the, you sending the second request so last message gone to route one so this time the message will go to route two then route one then route two again okay so let me show you a demonstration on that so i have created this small application i will just start it So application has been deployed. So we will just I will maximize my logger. I will clear this. Okay. Let me send this request. HTTP localhost eight zero eight four. And this is my body. Let keep eye on this. Just uh, avoid this. Okay. So you can see the message. So like uh, it created three logger entry uh, info. If you see here message from route one messages from route 2 and then the messages from route 1 okay so what happened the first request gone to route 1 the second splitted message gone to route 2 the third splitted message gone to route 1 again let me show one more send message so now if you see in the first request the last message splitted message gone to a route 1 okay this time it it gone to route 2 then route 1 then route 2 so now if i send the request again it will go to route 1 first okay last gone to route 2 now route 1 route 2 route 1 so this is where you know uh, you can make use of your round robin to load balance the traffic between the routes okay i hope you like the video thanks for watching it